we're going to talk about IM injections. So there's a couple different places we can go. Um, the first place we want to talk about is the cervical area. There is a couple things you need to be <laughs> concerned about when you're poking up here in the neck. It is a great place to go with a lot of muscle, but there's a couple of different things we need to talk about. So um, down along this bottom portion is going to be the cervical spine, so we don't want to poke there. And up along the top is this nuchal ligament, which is basically going to make sure that he can hold his head up. So we do not want to poke there either. So you envision kind of like a big triangle right here. Um, and all in here is good muscle and you can palpate and feel that there's a nice big muscle area there. Um, you can also go back further along the horse. So you can use gluteal muscles um, up here. There's a great area. Um, you can also go along the back of the leg between the semimembranosus and semitendinosus. Um, but like we mentioned earlier, horses don't like their butt being touched. So we're gonna go ahead and go up in the neck area. So again, cervical spine, nuchal ligament, and you just wanna envision a big triangle up here. So um, what is recommended to do would be um, kind of just grab an area along the side of where you're gonna go so they're distracted and they kind of know that you got something there. Um, I'm gonna have somebody remove their cap for me. So when you're giving an IM injection, just remember you're going perpendicular into the muscle. Um, so like I said, I'll kind of scratch him. Grab a little area of skin, poke, aspirate back, make sure I don't have any blood in there. Give it, rub it out, and you're good. Good boy, Shem. Who's the bestest boy?